Hi everybody, uh, today in our little video blog we're going to be talking just a bit about endometriosis. Uh, for those of you that would prefer to watch a video as opposed to reading up on it, although there is plenty of information on our website and certainly out there on the interwebs. Um, so let's break it down for you. Uh, endometriosis is a fairly common condition that is diagnosed in a very large number of women, uh, especially those women that are suffering from one of two main issues. The first one is chronic pelvic pain or pain related to the menstrual cycle. And the second problem is infertility. And sometimes there's an overlap with these two issues, but certainly uh, they can be isolated. Now, the condition itself, endometriosis, refers to the type of cells that typically form in the lining of the uterus that would come out each month during a menstrual cycle with a woman's period. When those cell types are growing in what we call ectopic areas, uh, meaning in areas outside the uterine cavity, so in the peritoneum, this can be on the fallopian tubes or the ovaries, on the pelvic sidewalls, uh, down by the uterosacral ligaments, uh, even up as far away from the uterus as the uh, liver, the diaphragm, uh, even inside the lung at times, um, this is called endometriosis. Now, the best way to think about this is that these glandular cells are reacting to hormones just as if they were inside the uterus, but now they're not inside the uterus, they're outside the uterus. And when they react to this hormonal change that occurs during a woman's cycle, it can elicit a significant amount of pain. So that's the overall idea of what endometriosis is. If you look online uh, and look at videos, you can get an idea of what endometriosis looks like. There are classic endometriotic lesions that almost look like little powder burn lesions, almost like someone's taken a cigarette and put it out uh, in various areas inside the pelvis. But there's also atypical lesions of endometriosis, and this is where it's really important when you're considering picking a surgeon that you pick somebody that has a bit of experience in diagnosing and fixing this problem. When we talk about fixing the problem, our goal is to restore normal pelvic anatomy. And we do that typically by using a technique called excision. That idea is to actually cut the diseased tissue out of the human body rather than just trying to either burn or fulgurate or ablate the area. Uh, when we talk about those types of techniques, we feel that they just really don't give the lasting impact um, that a, an excisional technique can. And, and that's largely because the endometriosis isn't actually being removed with some of these lesser techniques that aren't quite as aggressive. Most importantly is to make certain that if you're going to come in for a consultation regarding endometriosis that you see somebody that specializes in this condition. Uh, the, the unfortunate reality is there are many many women out there that have had multiple surgeries ineffectively for this condition and the reality of that is that the surgeries that were chosen and the techniques that were used possibly were not adequate to relieve the patient of their symptoms. So again, uh, feel free to read on the web um, anything about this particular issue. There's also some great uh, social media groups uh, on Facebook. There's Nancy's Nook and several other groups uh, regarding endometriosis where you can learn a whole bunch about this disease process. At the end of the day, though, one thing is for sure. Uh, although we suspect that there is a significant genetic component to this, and we think that there absolutely is something that occurs in the embryologic development of a human that determines where the endometriosis is formed, we still don't know enough about this disease process to give a complete and total definition as to why it happens and who it's going to happen in. So, again, seek a specialist get an opinion, and feel free to reach out to the Pearl Women's Center if you have any questions about this. We'd be happy to see you. Thank you.